Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at testing the hardness of silicone. So how is silicone tested for hardness? Silicone is classified as an elastomer, therefore the hardness test method must be carried out with the Shore hardness testing equipment. The equipment used for this is the Shore durometer device, which is specially designed to test the hardness of polymers, elastomers and rubbers. Now, Shore hardness has different scales, which are aligned to the amount of resistance the material being tested has for indentation. Higher numbered scales are used for harder materials and lower numbered scales are used for the softer materials. The term durometer is also used to describe the material's rating on the scale, as in an object having a Shore durometer of 90. Now let's have a look at how this looks from a test point of view. Now the short hardness of silicone is determined by how deep the test machine's indentation core penetrates the test specimen. The test machine will provide a direct reading as a result of the depth of penetration. You can see on the left we have a 20A durometer which is a soft material. You can see we've got quite a bit of indentation or penetration from the cone. Whereas on the right hand side, we have a much harder material where we've got a reading of 90A. And this shows a more shallow penetration. Now I did mention earlier that durometer comes in multiple scales. There are three main scales that are used, however. These are the Shore 00, zero or double zero scale, and this is used for the very soft materials such as gels and soft silicones. Shore A scale, this scale is used for material in the mid hardness range, materials such as pencil erasers, car tires, silicone hoses, and shoe soles. Whereas the Shore D scale, this is used for the hardest of rubbers, which are more rigid with little to no flexibility. Materials such as construction PVC pipes, hard hats and rigid polymers. Let's have a look at the, uh, the operation of how this works with this test machine. So the depth of the indenter is measured, which provides a measure of the material's hardness. Values are based upon a 100 point scale. However, as time elapses, the indicator will creep back so that the reading taken a few seconds after the tester contacts the sample will be less than the peak reading. Now, the optional peak indicator helps to more closely monitor the difference between a peak and the creep in hardness testing. And you can see the three images here. Now let's have a look at these three scales that are most commonly used. These are the A scale, the D scale, and the 00, zero scale. And you can see there's a overlap between the three of them. Now the harder ones, which you generally see in the harder materials and rubbers, whereas the 00, zero is often used for the softer silicones. Now let's have a look at the sequence of the test and the operation here, and then we can have a look at some examples on the right hand side. First, the measurement should always be taken with a minimum of like half an inch away from the edge of a sample. The second, the silicon durometer, as well as any other elastomer, should be measured on a sample that is at least a quarter of an inch thick. This is to ensure a proper and accurate reading, particularly on softer materials. And third, take the durometer reading using the specific parameters for the scale you will be using. Some examples on the right hand side here, you can see a rubber band, which has a 35 Shore A, a shoe heel has a 70 Shore A, a tap or a faucet washer has an 85 Shore A, and a forklift solid tire, which is a 95 Shore A. Now quickly, let's have a look at some summary. Uh, so number one, the hardness of silicone is measured with a durometer tester, which provides a sure hardness value. 
2. The durometer scale ranges from 0 to 100 and has no units. The result is just a number as a statement, as in Shore 70A. Now the A dictates the, the scale you're using. Now 3. There are different scales with three predominant scales used which depend on how soft or hard the material you're testing is. Scale D for the harder materials, scale A for the medium hardness, and scale 00 for softer materials. And four, the higher the sure number, the harder the material. For example, looking at the D scale, we've got sure 25D is harder than sure 10D. If you're interested in finding out more about which materials and processes SoftEast are experts in, you can visit our learning center. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from SoftEast, and I shall see you in the next video. Thank <music> you.